So yeah, like obviously now you're playing and then you get the move to Bristol. How did that come about? And did you did you know it was coming after the run of games and whatnot and playing? Um, or was it like a um, shock? I think there was obviously like a few like rumours and stuff, but there wasn't anything hard really down, you know? Yeah. But at the time there was a few there was a few options that I had to go and the manager didn't let me. Mm. So this was like the end of the season going into January and he didn't let me go. So then um the next six months I kind of spent just down, you know what I mean? Like because I wanted to make that next jump. Yeah. But they didn't want to let me because of, you know, because of things that don't involve football, you know, like prices, mm. all that kind of stuff, like how much are you giving us and all that add-ons. And then um, I actually went to the training ground to see somewhere else. So, like, I went to, like, a different club to go and see the training ground, like, meet everyone and that. And on deadline day, um, Bristol put in a higher bid. Oh, shit. So then... Literally on the on the day, drove there, and then signed with like five minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was mad. I swear. It was actually crazy, and obviously this was at eighteen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like it was just crazy. How was that that like experience of because obviously we watch it like every year, like obviously <laughs> twice a year, January and summer, and. Yeah. Having you been like a deadline day signing, like how was that experience? Transfer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was just crazy. Like it was actually nuts because obviously we just see it from the outside, thinking, "Oh yeah, everyone must be working." But like when you actually get to a club, like you see everyone rushing around trying to get paperwork sorted and that, trying to get like people to sign at the right places and stuff, yeah. and they obviously got to send it off to their fair. So it is proper. Like it's hectic, man. It's hectic, isn't it? Um, like roll it back. How obviously you had the chance to go to other places and whatnot, and obviously you couldn't go because of things that were out of your control. How how did yeah. you deal with everything mentally during that period? Because we hear a lot of stories about that where can <laughs> some players don't recover from that and mentally just yeah. disappear. I think that was really probably the, my toughest period in football so far. Because yeah. I think, um, like yourself, you just kind of, even if you don't mean it, you just get down, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you kind of build up, like, um, a, like a kind of resentment towards the people that are like you feel mm-hmm. that are holding you back, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, um, it's a lot that you're is going through your head, and you're thinking, oh, I could have been doing this, I could have been. Could have been here. Could have been earning this much. You know what I mean? Instead of this much, and then yeah. now, now you still need to go out and perform, and it's like it's just not. You don't feel the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, some players, some players can deal with that, but I think for me, I, I'm a player that likes to kind of have a clear mind when I go out onto the pitch. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and sure. if you got all of that going on, it's, it's it, it makes it harder. Yeah, speaking on that clear mind stuff, like what kind of stuff do you do like before games or like a day before game to get ready to make sure that you're clear? Um, obviously, firstly, I like to get like a good sleep. You know what yeah. I mean? I think that's probably the main part for me. And then before the game, it's just listening to music. I just like a, I like a relaxed vibe. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't really like, you know how some players like being like, Come on, boys! Like screaming and that, like <laughs> come on, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know. I just, I just like, I just like more of like a chilled out, like let's go do our job. We know what we're doing. Cause I like to think about who we're playing against. What do I need to do? How are we gonna win this? You know what I mean? Instead of just getting all hyped and just going out there and running, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's on the playlist, fam? What's the, what's the chilled vibes? Oh, uh, do you know what it is this is gonna sound weird because everyone likes the upbeat, but I'm listening to like Jenny Aiko and that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's where I'm 
I swear. I'm listening to like, yeah, literally, like J. Cole, all yeah. of that kind of stuff. Like, I'm listening to this, some proper, just cool stuff. I can just kind of nod my head and kind of get like images of the game going and stuff. Fam, and then, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Then go out on that, really. Do you know what's mad? Yeah, like, I remember for the longest time, people used to get onto me about the music I used to listen to. Because me, <laughs> like, I listen to, I don't like, like, mad songs before a game. Like, why should, yeah. I, get, why should I get crazy in that? Um, <laughs> but, like, before, I've obviously changed it now and again. But I used to listen to yeah. jazz, jazz, bro. Just playing oh, jazz. so where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? That's actually, that's actually, I actually enjoy that, but I like it. Not just straight jazz. Like I like songs that are like mixed like, with jazz. If that makes sense. Nah, I get you. Know you I mean? get you. So they got like some saxophones in the back and that, but then there'll be like <laughs> other parts to it. You know. This guy's about to go do ballerina around the guys, fam. <laughs> that's what I mean, though. But I go out with like a calm head. Like, I'm yeah, yeah. Just on the game, innit? Instead of just thinking of like just run, tackle, fight someone. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I feel you. I think it's it's key to obviously go into a game clear minded because. There's a lot of information that is given to us before a game. So you want to be able to process it properly yeah. in order to do the correct exactly. job. No, for sure. And I think one other thing for me as well is just not being rushed. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like to get there with like enough time that I can like do ah. my things at the pace that I want to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for that. Obviously, sometimes you can't really control that. Like say if the bus is late and there's traffic on the motorway or something. You can't really control it, but I like to get there take my time putting on my shin pads putting on my kit and that yeah. I don't like to be everything's like 100 miles per hour true no that's good though um, so obviously now you've you've signed how was like how was it now being a player and going into that change room obviously br- like at, at Luton you would have seen the guys around now you're in with a totally yeah. new set of guys who how was that yeah yeah, that was that was different, man. Because obviously, I went into a change room now, like, because Luton were in League Two at the time, so I've come into a change room now. Championship players, yeah. Like these guys know what they're doing. Like players like Bobby Reed and Joe oh, yeah, Bryan, yeah. who obviously have gone on to play like Premier League football, and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've went into a change room with like a lot of experienced big players. You know, like they know exactly what they're doing. So um, I think that was good for me to see. It's, do you know what was also good for me? Like I saw that they weren't like caught up in their own hype. You know what I mean? They were actually mm. still kind of cool guys. You know what I mean? I could still yeah. go and ask them a question, and they would answer. They wouldn't be like, "Shut up!" Like I don't know. You, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. So, so um, yeah, it was, it was, it was different. It was different. But um, I obviously went straight into training with the first team, and that was just ridiculous like How, the speed yeah. is unbelievable what's the what's the real level like difference like is it is it completely mad or is yeah, it like I don't, yeah like i'd say from obviously what i was experiencing at Luton to then come and just jump straight into bristol with the deep end now like it was seriously fast like it was making me question am i good enough do you know what i mean so like, that mad? i was coming in and i was like i was like i can't hack this pace do you know what i mean Right. And obviously it took me a while to kind of get into it. And football's football's a fast game because obviously if you're not performing, there's someone else behind you that wants to be there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was um kind of dealing with getting getting your feet on the ground as quick as you can. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, how long did that take you? <clears throat> I'd probably say almost a month. Yeah. Kind of going between 23 games, then coming back to the first team. <clears throat> then kind of like mixing together. And I think, yeah, it probably took me about a month to really get the hang of what was going on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What, how, what was the difference between the 23 games at the champ team compared to the first team? Is it... Is it closer or is it is there still a major difference between that? Um, yeah, still a massive difference. I don't think there was anything really that I could have done to prepare me for what I was going to experience in the first team there. Yeah, yeah. At all. I think it's one of the things you just got to go into and just 
just learn like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who Who was the the baller on the team that you're thinking? Rah, <laughs> I've known of this guy before, but live and flesh, fam, he's a joke. <laughs> uh, I'd probably say Bobby Reed. So. Uh, yeah, just proper sharp, very sharp. Damn. Where Where is he at now? I I think I is he at uh, Fulham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just got promoted again up to the Prem. <laughs> Matting. Obviously, very very sharp. Do you know what's mad? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like uh, last season, um, during like you guys' preseason, obviously we play from January to to November December, innit? So Cardiff yeah. actually came and we played them in it, like as their preseason. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was a time Bobby Reed was still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, a sharp fam. I, the thing is, I already sharp, told, <laughs> I already told people, I was like, yo, like, even though like the championship, championship is a is a like yeah, sometimes it's harder level. than prem. Um, yeah. So, so watch out, but yeah, and I was, it was mad to see them live in the flesh for sure. Um. Nice mad. Uh, so like, how was it? You obviously made your your debut. How was that? Yeah, that was crazy. I think um, the the noise from the fans is like just nothing you ever heard before. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, and then like, obviously you're sitting on the bench and you're thinking, I could come on. Like, we're winning like three 0 So I'm thinking. Well, like, I could actually come on, and it was against Crystal Palace, isn't it, in the cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Loftus Cheek was playing centre mid in it for Palace at the time. Yeah, I remember that. I was watching. Obviously, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, bro, like, I could come on and play against Loftus Cheek. Like this is mad. <laughs> so I'm warming up. Like I'm just gassed to be there. Like just yeah. one in the crowd, like screaming and like. And obviously we're winning, so everyone's like vibes are high and like, everyone's morale's high. And then um, like I come back. You get the call cool over in it. <laughs> Team come down with it. Hearts racing. Like you run back over and that. That was like my shirt's too big for me as well because obviously I'm flipping eighteen, skinny as hell. <laughs> like that's on the T and that T's too big. Like the the like assistants telling you like you got to mark him when yeah, corners yeah, yeah. and that. And I can't even hear him, bro, because the flipping fans behind me are going nuts. So I like um, put the board up now. The rest told you to like put your boot, put your boots up, show your studs and that. So I'm doing that. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, I've nice. gone like <laughs> pumping, pumping. So then um, I come on now, uh, jog on nervous as hell, goal kick, and then can't remember what the first thing I done was, but um, like punching in it, Jason punching, yeah, yeah, gets yeah. the ball, and I've like gone to rat him in it, so I run up to him now. Like pressing him, pressing him, like done well, kind of nicked it, and it's like hit off his foot and gone out. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's half throwing. Crowd's gone, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, that's like, that's like a moment that you need in it to come. Yeah, up. yeah. Like, just get you started in it. And then from there, there was probably like, probably, like, probably played about 10 minutes, but it felt like probably like a minute. Yeah, yeah. Cause it just goes, it literally goes that quick. Damn. And um, yeah, it was just it was a great experience. It's mad. Like, I think you can never, <laughs> you can never be ready for that experience. Yeah, never. Can never, 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 never. That's nuts. Um, so obviously, like now, <laughs> how was it? Now playing like more games after that. Or did you? How was the next game after that? Did you? Were you now um, more settled think, or nah? Nah, do you know what it is? After that, I actually had a stint where I didn't play. Yeah. Like the manager was just like, um, like you're a young player, I just want you to carry on playing with, like training with the first team, keep like learning, improving. And I didn't play for like a long time. And then it come up to another transfer. And the manager was like, um, want you to go out on loan. Like to get more experience and obviously play men's football consistently because I wasn't going to get that at Bristol, in it? Yeah, yeah. So um, it kind of went from like you're buzzing, like you're on top of the world, to then obviously kind of like a little dip 
Yeah. Not saying that like going on another dip, but obviously you'd want to stay in the championship and play games there, innit? True. So that was that was kind of rough to handle, to be fair. How was that? Um, and then, um, sorry, my bad. How was your thought process like when you first moved to Bristol? Did you think like I'm gonna go straight into the first team, or did you think like maybe I might have to do some time in the 23s and work my way up? Yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't really sure actually. I was just kind of ready for anything. I was just yeah. kind of thinking, whatever they want to do, I would be ready for it. And when I train with the first team, I'm gonna try and look like I can stay here, you know. Yeah. No, for sure. So, how did you feel when obviously now you're, you've now played the game, and now you're told like you, you're about to go and learn. Like, how did you take that? Even though you knew it was like for your own good, and you needed to get. Yeah. The time, like I think, still. yeah, like you knew, you you know, it's for it's for the best, like for your development. But at the same time, you're thinking, damn it, like I wanted to carry on staying in front of them crowds. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to stay here, like. But um, you kind of you know, like you need to you need to go and get your get your experience elsewhere, and then come back, and hopefully after that, you'll be ready for that. You know what I mean? Because you know it's building up so that you can get to that level, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like you got to take it in the sense that, uh, in the sense that um, you're going to get there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not for sure. Go out and do your best and then come back ready to stay, you know? Yeah. How, how was your first loan at, at Newport County, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was really good actually. Um, we obviously had the cup run, um, played like, beat Leicester, beat, um, Middlesbrough. Yeah, I remember from, which were obviously like, like levels above us, probably like two leagues, two leagues above us. Yeah. And then, um, obviously played Man City on TV. Yeah, I remember watching that still. It was a good season. And then yeah. um, got to the playoff final at Wembley, and then um, lost in the final. So I feel like that's probably the year where I learned the most about football. I yeah. think just the industry, the game, everything. Well, give us some little things that like you learned in it, so like we can know in it. Um, I think it was just stuff like um, stay in the game, like even if you're not playing too well. Just keep focused on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't get onto yourself. Because I reckon the worst game I played for them the whole season, I scored and we won one nil. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You just like if you talk about like actual gameplay, like how I played without that goal, I would say that was terrible. Like I thought I played awful, but because you obviously got to stay switched onto the game. Yeah. Like, I've made one run, played me in, shoot, score. Yeah. And obviously, no one even remembers that I played awful. Do you know what I mean? Because we got That's three true. points. We go home, everyone's happy. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's, it's about results. Like, yeah. can you do your job? Yeah, for sure. Sheesh, how, how was it playing against uh, Man City and all these other Prem teams? Obviously, you're, you're in the Championship. You played against championship teams, or obviously Crystal Palace, but then how was it playing against a bunch of Prem teams? Yeah, that was crazy because obviously we went into every game as underdogs, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every game we were like the like giant killers, isn't it? <laughs> so um, it was like a it was a bit of a different approach because we knew that they were obviously the better team, but anything could happen on the night. So we were still enthusiastic about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Damn. So, um, huh? Yeah, no, how was the Man City game like? How was it playing against that man that I'm you. Nuts. Yeah? That was like um, silver in that, isn't it? Silver, Foden, Fernandinho. It was crazy, bro. So, uh... That was actually nuts. Because obviously you you think you go into the game thinking yeah these men are hard and obviously at um, Newport they came to Newport didn't it? yeah 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 so the so the 
so the stadium wasn't as big as theirs but the pitch was dead <laughs> but they came and still like bopped it it was ridiculous oh. I'd never seen anything like it so um, yeah I think it was just a sick experience just to be around it and see like how they dealt with coming to a lower league club and stuff yeah who, and how who, they still um my bad um <laughs> like who who on that man city team did you think like right i already knew this guy was hard but i didn't know he was this hard like live because it's, it's different when you watch a guy Yo, do you know what it is yeah TV. yeah do you know what it is you don't realize how good their defenders are so like, obviously because we don't think defenders we think aguero gabriel Diaz, and that we think strikers isn't it yeah, yeah yeah but i'm telling you now john stones is a player like obviously right now he's probably holding a bit of corn for for whatever reason but Couple of things, isn't it? honestly yeah he was he was a baller like, i think he could easily play midfield swear swear down I swear to you, bro. Honestly, I don't think he lost the ball all day. Right. The thing is, yeah, I, from Everton time, when he was doing a madness before he went Man City, like, I knew yeah. this guy was about it. But you know how, like, football is. You can be up one second. Yeah. Next thing you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, in a name, in a team full of names, no one really talks about that too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's too, too busy talking about, like, Sane and all of them, man. <laughs> but, honestly... He was actually cold. Sheesh. Cold. Like, you can't press him. He's just so comfy on the ball and that. You just knew that he was already getting out of it. Yeah, like, he was just driving past man for fun and that. It was a joke. <laughs> How can he... Oh, he got an assist. He got an assist that game. I swear. With, like, a reverse pass. <laughs> Bro, the reverse passes are on. I'm telling you, man. It was nuts. I bet you'll get on like, to... Obviously, yeah. you just got to put your hands up. Like, yeah, when they yeah. do something like that, you just got to be like, like, what are we meant to do there? Do you know what I mean? Facts. I bet you were shouting at your strikers, like, yo, press them on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, bro. You got to try it like, at least, like, got to say something. But, but, yeah, I think overall, it was just a good experience. And on TV and stuff. And all my scored as well. Yeah, I remember. I think remember. about that one all the time. Backstick. <laughs> Honestly. Bro, I remember before the game, Terrible. I think I, I must have messaged you. I was like, bro, you have to score. We are, we're taking 